y'all. So, don't mind my towel. I just got out of the shower. Um, my crew went to go grab some dinner and I just stayed behind to get a little work done and to make this video and some peace and quiet. So, um, let's get to it. Today we floated the Como River. It was a lot of fun. We showed up. I knew it was going to be like between two and three hours. Um, I floated a river one other time. I've been on the water a lot, but I've never floated with an inner tube. We always kayak or canoe, sorry. Um, I've been white water rafting, canoeing, uh, but never just really sat in a tube and just floated and just hung out until me and a group of friends went up in Arkansas a couple years ago. That was the first time I ever done it. And I was like, wow, this is a lot of fun. As long as you hang out together and you float together and you just, you just chill. It really is chill. The water's moving slowly. You don't have, you don't make plans to go do anything. Like you're just hanging out. You're going with the flow and you're just hanging out with people you like and having great conversation and just enjoying the sun, the water, nature around you. There's a lot of people. If you like to people watch, <laughs> then that's your thing. Um, it's just a really relaxing time and you basically go with the flow. And so I knew that's what it was gonna be like. Um, this particular river though has like three chutes and they're kind of man-made. Well, actually I think they are man-made and um, they're kind of like giant rapid water slides. And that was a lot of fun. One of them, I like hit the wall after it shot me out and then I flipped over, but it really gets the water moving. And that was a lot of fun. The kids really was hoping there was a little more action, but I was like, look, you just hang out and you just float and we just visit and talk. And what's funny, and I'm not gonna name any names, but what's funny is um, some of my crew are not very go with the flow <laughs> types of people. Um, under, understandably, kids sometimes want more action. I get that. I knew there was only like three shoots on this and the water level was a little low. So they were like, you know, this float's gonna probably take closer to three hours. But I think a few people were eager to get it over with. And so there was a little bit of paddling going on. So we managed to do it in two hours. But I did enjoy it. I enjoy, you know me, I enjoyed being in nature and I love water. So that part I loved. Um, the part that proved to be a little bit difficult is doing something like that leisurely, going with the flow with people who don't go with the flow. And uh, I had uh, two hours to ponder on my float because I didn't want to paddle all the time. So I really was by myself a lot. Um, and I'm just gonna be honest with you, it was a little disheartening because I looked around and everybody knows how to float. You know, they've all got their coolers and they've got their radios and they're all hanging out, they're relaxing. They might be moving like at a turtle's pace, but none of them cared. They were laughing, talking, enjoying each other's company. Some people weren't talking at all. They were just all, all their tubes were tied together and just, just being, just being. And um, here I was with my one little floaty just coming by by myself. I was being too, and I was being pretty quiet because I didn't have anybody around me. And I was thinking, you know, God is a spirit. And I'd heard someone say before, like, if you want to operate in the spirit and operate the way that God operates, you have to learn to be fluid. You have to learn to go with the flow. If you're incredibly regimented, then you leave no room for God to do the miraculous or the unexpected. If you require a notice before any major changes, then you leave no room for God to be spun spontaneously miraculous for you. You don't allow him to operate in your life the way that the spirit does. And the spirit, the Bible compares the spirit to a river in a lot of different places. Um, and water is not tamed. We don't tame it. We go with the flow. We get in it and we let it take us wherever the current is going. 
And a lot of people, they just, they can't do that. They have a very difficult time doing that. And I wonder how often do we miss out on what God wanted to do in a certain place or at a certain time and situation because it didn't fit our schedule or it wasn't what we wanted to do. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know that um, my dad was still here. Um, but I wonder sometimes if we miss out, if we miss out on what God wants to do because, well, I'll just say it, because it's not what we wanna do. It's not what we had in mind. It's not going fast enough. We don't like the current because it's not what we're comfortable with. Or just plain and simple, it's just not what we want. Like we want something else. We had a different plan. And so, you know, when we got in the river, the, the river of the spirit, um, we only allotted an hour and the flow that God was going to run at was a two or three hour current. I don't know if this makes any sense, but it definitely is what I was thinking about when I was on the water today. Going with the flow, being fluid, moving at a moment's notice, moving with the spirit, letting it move you, letting it change you. I think there's something to be said for that. And I think it's a lot like people. Think in your life. Who or what type of person is it easier to be around? People that go with the flow? People that are enjoying the moment for what it is? Or people that are rigid and difficult and aren't able to change or to make the most of any situation, whether they like it or not. And now think about that in terms of the church and in terms of working in God's kingdom and in the spirit. Just something to ponder. I enjoyed my float on the river today. It was super relaxing after a very busy day yesterday. much needed. I hope you are having a great week. I know that we are. And tomorrow is going to be a very big day of zip lining, obstacle courses, and a half day at a working ranch riding horses, lasso lessons, and more. So I'm sure something will speak to my spirit while I'm out tomorrow. And I'll be bringing it to you. See you tomorrow. Spirit be